Hello, I will show you how to extract distance from camera from single images. It can be used to various things like 3D photos. This will be the next part of the tutorial. Uh, apart from macro photos, you can do something like scenery, also from a single images, in this case, the bookshelves in the library. Uh, and also, uh, using the depth information, you can do keying or matte, uh, so just uh, foreground extraction and put it like in a green screen in front of a different background, can be used for different things like people, but also birds. Um, one more example, uh, so it's not always perfect, but as you can see, it's certainly 3D, it's not an image, but it is, was done from the image. Uh, I use neural network from PyTorch Hub. As you can see, there are many networks uh, related to vision tasks. I use Midas and part of their code. You can use GitHub or Colab uh, to look at the code itself. Another useful uh, net would be segmentation network or fashion generation network. So uh, all of the code is on GitHub uh, in 3 Deminerali. Uh, you can just click open collab. And if you have account, uh, Google account, then you can run the code. Uh, as I said, it's based on, on the network that was shared by the group uh, cited in the paper. It's essential to have GPU runtime run. So here I just run uh, some import of the libraries. Of course, everything can be done in separate Python. It doesn't have to be collab. It can be even in Blender Python. Uh, but I believe this task can be easier for some people uh, to run in here in collab uh, on the internet. Okay, so the libraries are almost uh, imported. Next thing is to import images, uh, preferably in a zip in zip file, in this case into .zip. It can take uh, some time to do the import. You can also put the data directly on your Google Drive and then um, read from the Google Drive. Uh, and here is the main part of the code. I have put uh, comments, so I hope it will be helpful. Uh, I produced two two types of images, of depth images. One is 8-bit TIFF and uh, with only information about Z direction and the other one uh, is a vector, uh, vector depth information. So this one understands what's the perspective of the image. Uh, so it can be useful. Some of the parameters can be changed. Everything is exported uh, to the zip file, uh, exported to files and then zipped uh, and then can be downloaded. And here are some of the outcomes. As you can see, works for really many distances. Uh, sometimes Ermin and Ermax parameters should be set to different, uh, to differ the distance, uh, like the minimum and maximum distance. As you can see, a lot of um, a lot of things are extracted. In the next uh, in the next tutorial, I will show you how to create this beautiful 3D B um, animation. In the third one, uh, we will go through bookshelves, and in the fourth tutorial, uh, I will show you how to do foreground extraction. So. It can be used, for example, in Google Streams, if you would like to extract yourself, uh, or in some compositing tasks. So thank you for today, and see you in the next tutorial.